Let me first start by offering our deepest condolences to the family, friends and colleagues of the Canadian Forces member killed this morning in Ottawa. Please know that our thoughts and prayers are with the family at this very difficult time. Second, I want you to know that our members will remain vigilant in light of what's happening in Ottawa. However, the threat to Canada and its front line members is not new. We've known some time, for some time now that nowhere in the world is immune and this has just proven that Canada is no exception. I want to reassure you that the police service is in daily contact with our partner agencies to assess and respond to any and all threats. I believe it was about eight or nine years ago that Al-Qaeda identified Canada as one of the five primary countries that they intended to attack. As recently as the last few weeks, ISIL has also made it abundantly clear that Canada is on top of their list. We have been very much aware of that for years. This country, if, there's a, if it's got a reputation, it's for being a, a peace-loving, law-abiding country. And, and I know that uh, there will always be those that uh, are uh, attracted by, the criminal, by criminal activities. And make no mistake about it, by the way, the act that was committed today is first and foremost a murder. The motivation for that, which will be identified by um, the agency of jurisdiction doing the investigation, really doesn't matter, except for how the investigation goes. There's been conversation about this in, uh, surrounding Calgary for weeks and months now. There's been those threats that have been made for months and years now. So do I think a, the average Calgarian today should be any more concerned than they were a week or a month ago? I don't think so. But you know, I know what's going to happen. I know that because it happened in Ottawa, because it happened in Parliament Hill, because it happened twice this week, people are going to be rightfully concerned. But what I can, uh, the only thing uh, that I can do is assure them that this is not something that came out of the blue for policing in Canada. It's just not. It's an unfortunate reality of the world today.